What's going on everyone? So in this video, uh, we are going to complete the last section in our HDB Academy module using the Metasploit framework. So we're going to complete the Meterpreter uh, section here. So if you scroll all the way down, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to complete these last two exercises. So without fur further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So spawn the target system and then boot up your Kali Linux environment or the instance that you have in HDB Academy. All right, so the question is find the existing exploit in Metasploit framework and use it to get a shell on the target. What is the username of the user you obtained a shell with? All right, so first things first, um, it wants us to find an exploit. The previous exercises, um, they listed what exploit to look for. This time we actually have to search for it. So we have the IP. So what we could do um, is a very popular tool that we can use, Nmap. So let's go ahead and use Nmap to see what ports, protocol services are running on this machine. Um, so I'm gonna, if you scroll up to the top of the exercise of the tutorial, um, you can see they used um, these Nmap commands here. So I'm gonna use two of them, the dash SV and then the dash A. So let's go ahead and run that. So that's gonna be Nmap dash SV dash A, and then of course the IP of your target system. Go ahead and hit enter. And then this will take um, maybe about 10 seconds or so, maybe even longer. All right, should be coming up here pretty soon. All right, so it looks like we got a bunch of info here, which looks really good. All right, so we have um, some ports open. Um, now, if you kind of go through the text here, you can see um, this port is open, which is port 5000, and it is running IIS. It's like, okay, cool. So maybe we can start there. But look what it also says down here. It says Fortilogger. So it looks like Fortilogger is running on this machine using this port with IIS. It's like, okay. So we can start there. Um, we can also maybe search for NetBIOS vulnerabilities um, and maybe uh, remote desktop vulnerability, vulnerabilities. Uh, 3389 is the RDP port. Um, but let's go ahead and check this out, this Fortilogger. All right, so we have that in mind. So now let's go ahead and boot up MSF console. And then we're gonna see um, what vulnerabilities are there for Fortilogger. So to do that, we'll do search and then we'll do Fortilogger. All right, so it looks like we only got one. Um, rank is normal. Uh, Fortilogger arbitrary file upload exploit. So it looks like what, that's what we want. So we'll go use zero. Then we'll go show options. All right, so as usual, we set the R hosts. So that's gonna be 10.129, 203.65. Again, you'll get that over here. And then of course, the local host, um, that's not correct for me. So I'll put that as my tunnel zero adapter because that is the adapter that I'm using to uh, VPN into HTTP Academy. All right, so we got those two. Let's go ahead and run the exploit. See what we get. All right, look at that. So we are, we got a interpreter shell here, which is perfect. Now to answer this first question, um, what is the username? So if you remember the command that we used before, and get UID, and there you go, NT authority system. So that is the first answer there. So now, second question, retrieve the NTLM password hash for the HTB student user. Submit the hash as the answer. All right, if you go up into the tutorial, there was a command that they ran. It was called hash dump, and then it'll get you the hashes um, of those users. So let's go ahead and run that command. So we'll go hash dump. And this isn't gonna work, um, and I'll show you why. All right, so it says operation failed, the parameter is incorrect. 
So that just means you don't have privileges to run that command. So what do we do? Well, we have NT authority. Um, we, it looks like we do have full admin rights on this box. So what's the deal here? Well, let's see what services are running on here. So there's a command called PS. And again, you can get all these commands if you type in help. Um, you can get all these commands um, up here. So if you kind of read through here, um, you'll, you'll get um, a good list of commands to run that can kind of help you uh, navigate through the interpreter shell. So PS uh, will list the running processes. So we can see what processes are on there that we can exploit. Um, so yeah, if we do PS, so we can see all these lists of processes that are running. So here's a for the logger listener. Um, now you can also type in get PID. So this is the current process that we got a hold of. So 7368, this is the SVC host exe. So we are taking advantage of this process here. So we probably have to go to another process that has more privileges. So, well, let's take advantage of this Forda logger listener and see what we can do. So here we go, 2492 is the number. So that command is migrate and then the number, 2492. So now it's gonna jump from this process over to that Forda logger process. And now it completed successfully, great. So now um, we can run the hash dump. Hash dump. Okay, so well, let's try it again. So let's go um, get PID. So now we're at 2492, but let's refresh the screen here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this one didn't work. Let's try this guy down here. So this was a listener. Let's try this service. So 2516. All right, now let's see if we can do a hash dump. And there we go. So HTTP student, that's going to be this guy right here. So you're going to copy, uh, let's see, I believe you copy from right here. Yep. So here is the answer right there, CF3A, and then, of course, the rest. So there you go, guys. So yeah, we went over kind of how to scan for um, ports to see what are open on the box, see what services are running on there, and then uh, searching the Metasploit framework to see if there's any vulnerabilities or exploits. And then after you run the exploit, once you get access to the system, now migrate from one service to another service so that you get more privileges um, to get hashes of users on the system. So um, there you go, guys. Hope you found this video really helpful. If you did, uh, please subscribe. If you have any uh, questions, please leave a comment below, and uh, we will talk to you guys later.